Hi friends, it's Mr. Alex from Adams Memorial Library, and it's time for another special summer reading themed installment of our online origami club. And this week we're going to be making an origami whale. So go into your summer reading craft packs or your art attack kit and get your online origami club kit. And in this kit is going to be paper of all sorts of different colors and patterns that you can use to make the project that I'm going to show you. But if you didn't get one of our online craft or art attack kits, that's okay. You can always follow along with supplies that you have at home. So let me show you what else we'll need and we'll get started. In order to make our origami whale, we're going to need just a few things. The first thing that we'll need is a practice sheet of paper to get really good at folding origami whales. And I have this two-tone sheet of origami paper so that I can show you how to fold the project, but anything that you have at home will work as well. If you have notebook paper, copy paper from your printer, or anything else, uh, you can use that to practice origami with. And if your practice paper isn't already a perfect square, like mine is, then you might want a pair of scissors to trim that down. Then you're going to need your online origami club kit out of your craft bag, because in here is going to be paper of different sizes and patterns that you can use and pick from to make your final project. Then we're going to need a marker, crayon, or other decorating supply to make our origami whale extra special. So go ahead and gather all of that up, and whenever you've finished, we'll get folding. In order to make our origami well, the first thing that we're going to do is take our piece of practice paper and fold it in half diagonally. As we're doing this, we want to make sure that the color that we want to face the outside of our project is uh, on the outside of this fold. So for instance, I want this blue color to be the outside of my well, and so I'm going to fold it to the outside of this fold here. Then we're going to open our project back up, and with the side that we want to be the outside facing face up on the table, we are then going to take and fold our project in uh, this corner here and this corner here in toward our center line. But we aren't going to fold it in the whole way. So we'll make one fold like this, and then as we go to make our other fold, it's important to keep our folds exactly even. So if I folded in, if I folded this side this far in on my project then I want to make sure that the other side is folded in the exact same amount as well. And this is going to be super helpful in the final fold, or one of the final folds of our project. So at this point, we should have a piece of origami that looks like this. Then we're going to go ahead and fold these corners, this one here and this one here, back out on the same fold that we just made. And how we'll know that we've done this correctly is that our fold should have a little bit of a triangle of our opposite color, so the side that we don't want showing of our paper right here, and a larger triangle right here. Then we're going to fold this side of our project in exactly the same way so that it matches. And if it doesn't match, it's okay to retry and refold our project because the closer that these folds are to each other, the more uh, that it's going to make the future folds of our projects a little easier. So at this point, we have something that looks like this, and then we're going to take and fold the tip of our project under. And this is where these little triangles that we just made really come in handy. So we're going to fold them under our project just like this and crease it off. So it should create a shape that looks a little something like this. Then we're going to go ahead and repeat that on the other side of our project. So we'll just fold it up a little bit, just like that, making our project look like this. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold this part of our project under, but we want to leave a little bit of our opposite color revealed. So that's how you'll know you folded it far enough, is if we just fold like this to give us a shape that looks like that. Now comes the most important fold of our project, where we're going to fold our project in half, just like this. And we want everything that we've previously folded to line up. So the closer you were with the other parts of your origami wheel, the better that this fold will be. And we should have a shape that looks like this. We're almost done with our origami wheel. We just need to give it a tail. And so we're gonna take and fold this part of our project back down behind the project, just like this, in the shape of a whale's tail. And once we've done that, it is time to get out our marker, crayon, or other decorating supply. And so I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to just give my whale an eye, 
like this. And at that point, I think that our origami whale is complete. Now, you can keep practicing this until you get really, really good at it. I know this origami project definitely took me a few tries. So I'm going to keep practicing. And once I'm done, I'm going to make my final project out of a piece of paper from my online origami club kit. I'll show you what that looks like at the end of the video. Well, friends, after lots and lots of practice, I took a piece of paper out of my online origami club kit and I folded this origami whale right here. And for a little bit of extra challenge, I took one of these smaller blue sheets of paper and folded this whale as well. But no matter which paper you picked, I want to see how your origami whale turned out. So if you're tracking your summer reading on Beanstack, then be sure to fill out that summer reading Shutterbug badge. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for updates not only about the online origami club, but everything else we do here at the library. And as always, happy crafting, everybody. Friends, are you also participating in our Palmer Summer Reading Program using Beanstack to track your hours and activities? If you are, then you'll definitely want to make sure that you get credit for completing this online origami club activity. So you can enter the code word FOLD, which will be right here on the screen, in order to claim your Beanstack badge and prize tickets, which, as always, can be entered in our drawings until August 6th.